Шакур Гау. So anyway, I have the honor of playing uh, uh, my special this next Sunday, coming up here a couple days, and um, I was wondering what song to do, and I'm just kind of torn up about it a little bit. Uh, let's see, I got uh, three in mind that I really got it narrowed down to, and uh, one of them I didn't write, and so that makes that a little easier. You know, that's the thing about the ones I've written. And, in a church, you know, and my songs are uh, sometimes controversial, so, uh, um, yeah, they make you think. <laughs> they, they try to make you think, and then some people don't like that too much. Anyway, the, the three I got in mind, I've, uh, I figure I've got a little story behind each one of them to try and, you know, it, uh, explain things, you know, what's going on. So here we go. Here, the first one I've got up is, uh, um, Peace and Love, <clears throat> and it's a song that I wrote way back uh, um, when we were protesting somewhere up between the, you know, I started protesting before the invasion of Afghanistan, you know, after 9-1-1, so I got to give credit to the, the grandmas against nukes, they were out there with me, they knew, they felt it, and they came out, and anyway, uh, uh, somewhere in that, I wrote this song here. Uh, well, I know, I, I remember now, I, it was later on, and uh, it was well after the invasion, and uh, I got some, somewhat of a reputation around town as an anti-war, you know, fella. And uh, the Gandhi Center for Peace and Nonviolence approached me, and they had uh, recruited the, the Pueblo chapters of the Boy Scouts of America and the, and the Girl Scouts of America. And we all um, used my equipment and we put together, we designed a float and, uh, and I wrote a song. And it was, uh, to give you an idea about the float, it was a beautiful float. It, it had a, a big circle that represented the globe and it was, a, it was flat. <laughs> Then let's not get started, okay. And then um, and it had the kids sitting around it, you know, and we all sang. And uh, and um, up on the top of the, that was on the trailer now, up on the top, up higher above that on the truck, uh, and ahead of it there was a, a big dove, big white dove. It had a teardrop coming down and stuff. And uh, it had a big wingspan, you know, like, uh, I forget, like a 12 foot wingspan, and the wings waved. They were on pulleys and, and, and ropes, and uh, and the kids had the ropes, and they could pull them and wave the wings, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was really something, you know. And and not just the kids, uh, their parents, you know, some of them, and uh, it was it was really something, especially at the time because the anti-war sentiment was not appreciated at all, and uh, you know, in that parade, you know. We, we, um, in the Pueblo State Fair Parade, in the Colorado State Fair Parade, we, uh, we were right in the middle of it, you know, right in the middle of the wars, and, uh, and they had all the marching bands and military marching bands, and then they had the, you know, the military gear, the reserves, and the, the tanks and helicopters and stuff. And, uh, here we were, you know, have the big piece stuff <laughs> right in the middle of it, <laughs> singing out. This is a song we, that I wrote in, uh, and everybody seemed to appreciate it at the time, and I love it. And now I'm getting to where I can actually do it pretty good. And uh, all these years later, I sometimes think so anyway. Anyway, it's called Peace and Love. And uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, it doesn't offend anybody too much. I, uh, you know, in my, in my uh, world, if I could represent it to everybody, there is only one God. Okay, there's only one God, all right? And if we were to put that one God in a focus point, well, let's, let's just say this, everything outward, this is representative. 
This doesn't represent a limit. This represents no limits. This is infinity. Okay? It's God. Infinity. The one God. Okay? And then consider a reality, and in the center of it is the Son of God, the child of God. The, the, there's the parent, and there's the Christ, Jesus, you know, and, and or uh, it, it, there's one God. There's one God and nothing else. That's the thing about reality. Okay. Um, uh, to infinity and beyond, you know what I mean? But they never defined what one is, you know, so two times infinity plus one equals three. You gotta think about that, okay? Now what I'm saying is that one, nobody ever said what well, one is, I'm telling you one is everything, everything in, is in, it's infinity. And there's no limit. And everything greater than one is a fantasy. And everything less than one is reality. And uh, see, I don't, in my world, I, uh, I put Jesus in the center of the world. And I can biblically back that up, but it gets, you know, pretty controversial. Anyway, that, that's involved in this song, too. And uh, my, my boy tells me, shut up and sing the song, you know, because he always tells me that. He says, you know, he doesn't tell me that. He says that, you know, it'd be better if you could leave the, you know, and just do the song, let the song speak for itself. Here we go. He's right about that, I guess. Anyway, now you know the story behind this song before I even done it here. It's called Peace and Love. Peace and love. Give us peace and love. Peace and love, give them 
trust in your God to defend you. Peace and love, give them peace and love. God below, gives us peace. choices were, um, or are, <laughs> I'm still kind of torn up about this, but yeah, and the next one is um, Allah Shalana, and uh, now this one here is a little bit, you know, tricky because, uh, you know, over there in the Middle East, you know, um, they don't speak English as a native language. And, uh, and in fact, you know, Christ, Jesus, um, you know, didn't speak English either, probably, you know. I mean, probably did, yes, but not, you know, to the people at the time, you know. It was a more Armenian or a, and there, you know, um, anyway, uh, you know, their word for, for God or God in the German or, or you know, the, the words for God, God, you know, the eternal, uh, the creator. Um, uh, you know, it's, yeah, they've got their own word for all of them. So anyway, um, 
so you know, folks who's you know just don't know what they're talking about sometimes, you know. Anyway, um, so that means even Jesus, you know, referred to God, His Father, Parent, as a, as a eternal, as all, you know. Well, that's the way it is, you know. Folks, you know, they say a lot of things, and you got to give them a little bit of salt with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, so anyway, this song, Allah Shall Anah, attempts to uh, address all three of the Abrahamic religions. <clears throat> uh, and hopefully I can perform that and we'll see it here. Allah Shall Anah, and this is one of the ones I might do for the church, if I can, you know, pull it off. Shall I not?
face all hell and earth. And though a man hath the strength to lift up his whole house, and though a man hath the love of all his friends and family. This is a profound song. I always, and Elijah likes it too, and, it, and I've always found it to be a, one of the most well-written songs I ever, you know, ever heard and whatnot, or ever, you know, I've listened to and, and, and do my own version of. This is called uh, One Tin Soldier. Okay. It's from the movie Billy Jack, by the way. But... Listen, children, to the story that was written long ago about a kingdom on a mountain and the valley folk below. Now on the mountain was a treasure buried deep beneath the stone and the valley people swore they'd have it for their very own. your neighbor, go ahead and cheat your friend, do it in the name of heaven, justify it in the end, there won't be any trumpets blowing, come the judgment day, on the bloody morning after, once it's soldier rides away. the hill, asking for the buried treasure, tons of gold for which they'd kill. Now came an answer from the kingdom, with our brothers and sisters we will share all the riches of our mountain, and all the secrets buried there. So go ahead and hate your neighbor, go ahead and cheat your Once it's so 
kill all the mountain people so they won their just rewards. Now they stood beside the treasure beneath the mountain dark and red. Turn the stone, look beneath it. Peace on earth was all that it said. your neighbor, don't cheat your friends, don't do it in the name of heaven, don't justify it at the end, there won't be any trumpets more, come the judgment day, when the bloody morning after, once it sold your rides away. Don't do it in the name of heaven Don't justify it in the end There won't be any trumpets blowing Come the judgment day On the bloody morning after Once it sold your eyes away got a tendency to play these songs too hard and then I got a tendency to you know to go drag on too long to so anyway maybe the leave me some comments in the comments below which song you think I should do for church and you know be in the holiday seasons and everything and I've got some other ones but they're just they're just too much and I don't think that they would fly you know no happy holy day that's a, such a sad song, and it's really, I mean, it's the perfect holiday song, <laughs> holy day. Anyway, it's like, well, anyway, ain't no happy holy day, not for me. Anyway, that's something else. Anyway, I don't want to do that again, though, because that's another one of them ones that's really a pretty good song, you know. we got a lot of, you know, pretty good songs. They are, they are what they are. They're my songs. They're not anybody else's. Charlie Fetty songs. That's okay. Happy holidays. Have a good day. God bless you, please. Me too. See you next time.